Can you lose your principal amount that you've invested in treasury bonds? Recently, I made a video explaining how treasury bonds work and it went viral. And many people have been asking that question. It is the most frequent asked question. Now, before I answer that question, I want you to first understand three terms or words that you find when you're buying bonds. The first word is what we call per value. Per value is when you buy a bond whose market price is the same as its face value. I don't want to confuse you. So I am going to use an example of a car. Let's say you've gone to Spear Motors to buy a Mercedes Benz. And that car's real value is a hundred million. This Benz is a hundred million. However, so when the market price that you manage to get it at while at Spear Motors is also a hundred million, then you've gotten this car at per value. Using this analogy, if you go and they tell you you're going to invest in a bond for 15 years and after 15 years, the worth of this bond is going to be a hundred million and as well, you pay a hundred million for it. That means you've gotten this bond at per value. Now, this is minus the interest. Remember, you don't get the interest at the end of the time you've invested. You get the interest by annual. Every after six months, we give you your interest. At the end of the years you've invested this money, that's when we give you back the principal. So if the principal you're going to get back is equivalent to what you paid, then that bond is called per value bond. If I'm explaining this, it means that you may also pay a different amount from the real value of a bond. Let's go back to a Benz. If you go to Spear Motors, there is a Benz of a hundred million value, but somehow you manage to negotiate and the market price at Spear Motors, you secure it at 98 million. You've gotten this car at a discounted value. The same thing applies to bonds. You may be given a bond to invest in of 100 million. So the government of Uganda assumes you have lent them 100 million. So after the 15 years that you've invested or 10 years, you're going to get 100 million. But actually, for you to qualify for this 100 million, you only paid 98 million. It means you've gotten a discounted bond and you celebrate. Now, the other type of bond, still using the same analogy, is let's say you go to Spear Motors, find a Mercedes Benz whose value is 100 million million but somehow to get this 100 million because of different factors that we may not go into because i'm not really in the car market you get this car at 100 million and two so you get at 102 million for a car whose worth is 100 million in that case you have paid what we call a premium value so the same way in a bond you can go and buy or invest in a bond worth a hundred million after let's say 10 years but you pay a hundred and two million for it that means you've gotten a premium bond so the reason as why i told you i want you to first get to know these words is many people when they get a premium bond they assume they've made a loss yes you've gotten a lower value of your bond because you've paid a higher for a hundred meaning the government assumes it owes you only a hundred million yet you paid a hundred and two but this does not necessarily mean that it's a bad deal for you to decide whether it's a bad deal you have to first calculate the interest rate that has been given on that premium bond if you realize the interest rate is a higher and at the end maybe you've invested a hundred million they've given you an interest rate of 16 percent it means every end of the year you get uh, every end of the year you get 16 million on your hundred million 
and by annually every end of six months you get eight million i explain this in details in the video about how to invest in treasury bonds so if you want these details and if they are confusing you just go in that video but my point is if you realize gwe o itawo it works for you you can invest usually the discrepancy the difference is not that big but either way that's called a premium bond but you can as well pay lower for a higher value bond that's a discounted bond if you pay the same amount with the value what we call the first value or the maturity value then that's a per value bond if you've not understood anything i've said put it in the comments i would labor to make another video to make you understand because these are things i wish i knew and understood when i just left university and that's the reason as to why i as to why i decided this year to start studying chartered institute of securities and investments if you want me to come and train your staff or your team just reach out to me with the details in my profile the number and email address otherwise share repost subscribe follow and like if you liked what you watched today thank you